As a, as a project, it basically, when I knew that that everybody knows that uh, the arts or most arts organisations are really struggling in New Zealand at the moment with the recession and um, Christchurch earthquake, and it's just more difficult to get funding. And I knew that a lot of big arts organisations overseas had quite big music purchasing budgets, and a couple of other choirs around our size that I've talked to overseas, they have budgets in order to be able to buy music, probably about sort of 30 to 40 pieces per annum, and we just don't have that kind of money. So I thought, how do we continue to build this amazing, amazing treasure that is the Choirs Aotearoa New Zealand Library? And I thought, what a great way to do it would be to grab some, um, actually get Karen and I to create a list of pieces that we would really like to purchase in order to be able to perform these in the next few years and perhaps ask some of the alumni, some of the current members, parents, friends of the choir, corporate sponsors to um, front up with enough money to purchase a piece or two and bearing in mind that most of the time it costs around sort of 200 to 300 dollars to buy a piece of music for the choir it's not a substantial amount of money and some people may be able to to come up with that sort of money to do that and that's uh, basically an ongoing donation because that music will be labelled with the name of the sponsor and every time it's performed we can acknowledge that and it will that music will continually be performed for many many years to come and I just think it's a really nice way for people to give back. I'd love to see the choir continuing to support the creation of new local music. I think that's something that's been a very strong part of the choir's history and it's just so awesome in such a small country to have first-hand knowledge and actually be friends with quite a large number of very capable and talented New Zealand composers and being able to have music that's commissioned for the choir and bring that music to life for them is something that's very satisfying for the singers, for me, for the composer and for the audience. I think that most people that I know who have been members in the past of the New Zealand Youth Choir have really enjoyed their experience and it's been quite, um, quite a foundation experience for them in their musical life and a lot of them have gone on to other careers but the ones that I talk to still consider the Youth Choir to be a very very important time in their development as young people. And it's a nice way, I think, for them to give back to the next generation of people who are experiencing the youth choir and the wonderful um, memories that are created from being involved in such a high performance group. And the alumni being able to do that is just a good, very simple way of, of supporting the ongoing work of Choirs Aotearoa in New Zealand and ensuring that there's always turnover of repertoire and just more and more repertoire being added to the library to create that wealth 
of um, music that can be sung in concerts for years to come.